In this video I'm going to show you the firmware upgrade process. This is an informational video since there is nothing you should do manually during this process. But it's better if you're aware of what's going on if you'll see something like that on your base controller. If your base controller is connected to the internet, then once we have a new version ready, we are going to push the firmware upgrade to your base controller over the air. Here you can see the process when firmware is uploaded to the base controller. Now is flashing the internal memory with the new firmware. Remember, do not turn off or reset your base controller during this process. When flashing is done, the controller will restart, and then it's completed. All programs you have previously set up will stay the same. The whole process should take approximately 5 minutes. To check the firmware version of your base controller, go to menu, then about. First line will show you the current version number. 